Hey guys, brand new light to test today. It's the Spider Farmer SE3000. It's a 300 watt light suitable for a three foot by three foot grow area, 90 centimeter by 90 centimeter. Neat little unit, um, does require a bit of self assembly. It comes with these two end beams and the four LED bars detached. And it's a case of screwing in see here the uh, wing nuts here the eye bolts um, into this end beam and fixing the um, the four bars onto the end, these end beams and then you simply connect up on the end uh, each led bar into this beam which has the, um, the power distribution through it and this then plugs into the driver which mounts onto the back of the LED bars with this um, plastic clip. You can mount the LED bar, or sorry, the LED driver remotely as well. So that's why I have this um, additional coiled cable here. It looks a bit untidy, but it's necessary. Driver itself is a mean rail driver, high efficiency, high quality driver, and has the little control box here from um, Spider Farmer with the on off uh, daisy chain connection for uh, connecting multiple drivers together for dimming, but then an onboard dimmer as well so that you can control it directly on, uh, on the device itself, on the driver itself. From a LED point of view, you've got a mixture of um, cool white, warm white. Um, 660 nanometer deep reds and a small amount of far red and UVA as well. I did a spectrum test with the spectra radiometer and as you can see here it's a broad full spectrum light with all you need for growing all the way from seed to flower. As I said it's specced for a three foot by three foot um, go area so I put it into that size a test area with silver mylar walls. Hanging height recommendation from Spider Farmer was between 12 and 16 inches. I brought it down to the lowest hanging height, the 12 inches, and found that that was suitable in that it wasn't getting any power readings in the center above 1000. So um, it seemed pretty um, optimized to me. Then took uh, six rows of six columns so 36 power measurements in total using the, um, the spot-on quantum sensor and took the average power all across the target grow area. So drawing 290 watts from the wall, it delivers 775 micromoles average across the target area, which is a nice high performance level. And dividing the total amount of power output by the power consumed gives us the fixture efficiency and that is 2.17 usable PPF per watt or PPFD per watt which is a good system efficiency for a grow light of, um, of this size and in this price range. Speaking of which, it's um, very competitively priced. Uh, click down below the link to Spider Farmer. You can also um, put in the Migro code, that's M-I-G-R-O, and you'll get an additional discount. I'd appreciate it if you'd support the site by doing that. And um, yeah, overall, nice light. Not the most elegant fixture, I suppose, just that it's got um, the sort of the self-assembly mode. As I said, it takes five minutes to put together. Um, it's robust. Um, IP rated and high performance so what's not to like hope you enjoyed any questions or comments please leave them below I'll get back to you as soon as possible take care